everybody, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make a soft toy or a cuddly or a snuggle toy or sometimes called a comfort toy for a baby to toddler years. Okay, I have a two-year-old baby and or a toddler and he has one of these. Um, the great thing about this is it's so simple to sew and it's such a nice gift for a newborn or or even toddlers and you can personalize them according to your um you know the name of the baby or you can embroider anything on it um so this is a great gift to uh for you know um baby showers or birthdays also a great product to sell on your shop um it's because it, you know it's very easy and quick to make this is um one of my criterias to um you know to uh add to my product list is to make sure that the product is easy to make but also it looks nice okay um what fabric are you going to use um i recommend muslin or double gauze fabric or a fleece or any blanket type material also you could use cotton um, but i recommend one cotton one side and one double gauze or something soft on the other side you can you know you can play around with the fabrics but any soft nice cuddly material would be perfect for this project okay and here's another one for this they have two types the bear type and the bunny type now this has no facial features okay because the the idea is for your baby to imagine you know um the facial features of his and her or her cuddly toy but you can definitely embroider eyes or nose and and anything you like but i like them just plain like this okay um you can download the pattern it's in the description below you should get two pieces of paper two pages so make sure you print one of the the page which has the uh, test square first and then test it um this if you're using your phone to print it should be like fill the page or 100 percent scale but if that doesn't work and it's still a bit smaller then make sure to um, adjust accordingly okay the second page you will have the head piece the ear piece and another ear piece so you have the bunny piece or the bear piece um here you need to cut two pairs so it's either you know a mix and match like what i'm doing today like this one or you can just make two the same ones so today i'm going to be using these ears so there and then you need to cut two heads which i've done two heads and two body so it doesn't have the pattern for the body but it says here you have to cut 15 by 15 inches okay so there's my 15 by 15 inches one side is cotton another side is double gauze or muslin okay so gather your fabric let's get started as usual every time i make a tutorial i recommend to watch the whole video first before you start cutting anything okay um so let's get started the first thing is to sew your ears together so put the right sides together usually double gauze um, I don't find the, there's a right or wrong side. Maybe there is, maybe I'm wrong, but I just, I don't think there is. Um, here, I'm putting the right sides together. And then I'm going to sew quarter of an inch all around and leave this open. Okay, so do that on both. You could, of course, pin just to make sure that they stay together. And then they don't shift 
and then I'm going to go ahead and sew that. Okay. Once you've done the ears, just iron it flat, and now we're ready to attach it to the head. Okay, so pick one um, one head piece, and then grab your one ear piece, and just kind of place them on the, each side. Okay, and then making sure they are even around like that and there should be at least an inch gap in the middle so you could do that do that it's okay to overlap it it's actually even better and then grab the other piece and then put it on top of the two layers so now you've got a sandwich and pin that together Okay. Now you can go ahead and pin all around it. So we're going to start sewing from the neck a quarter of an inch all the way around to this side okay and then making sure you backstitch beginning and end okay let's do that Here, once you've sewn it together, make sure to snip all around. Okay. Also, you can cut it, cut the ears. Turn it inside out. There's your headpiece. Okay, now it depends on uh, if you're using the same fabric for the head, like two pieces of head. If not, if you're mixing and matching, like for example, if you're using a print here and you want to match the ears so make sure you put them on the right sides so here's the headpiece and inside there's your ear pieces so make sure you snip all around to have a nicer and flat um, piece outside so let's turn it inside out okay and then just grab a bit of a um, stuffing 
and then stuff the head firmly but not too much. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, make sure you don't stuff the neck part we're gonna sew that so up until here make sure it's not super soft okay that's it and then the last step would be to find the middle of your body piece so how we do that is to fold it and mark the middle or in my case I snip right then there and this is the wrong side of your um, fabric and this is the right side okay you do that on the other side okay if you have a print like mine that is directional Make sure you are placing your headpiece on the right direction. Okay, so here you go. Okay, now grab your headpiece and the head should be facing um, this way. Okay, so. Place that in the middle, pin it if you have to, okay, and then remember these are the right sides of your fabric, now you put it right sides together so everything is on the right side together and then match that center, then pin. And then pin all around start pinning okay so I've pinned it all around and here at the bottom because this is where the head is right now opposite the head leave three inches opening for you to turn it inside out so make sure to back stitch at beginning and end so I'm gonna start stitching from here and then all around and then stop here and then back stitch. So let's do that. So I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way all the way around. So I've sewn all the way around leaving this opening here. So now snip your corners, making sure to not clip the thread. And then turn it inside out. We're almost done. And then just push out corners using a chopstick or something, any stick that doesn't have a very sharp end. Or you can just use your finger. Okay. There you go. I think my finger's just fine. 
Okay. This is the front that I would like my bear to have or my cuddly toy to have. So now you're opening, just fold that, match it, and then pin. And then sew very close to the edge to close that opening. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna have to fold for the hands and feet. Fold however deep you want it. You could do this bit or you can even do that that much. I recommend one inch to one and a half inch here. So let me get my ruler. This is my one inch. So I will do one and a half. And then pin. And do that on all four corners. Okay, one and a half. Do that on the rest, and we're just gonna stitch like um, half an inch over here, half an inch over there to give you this finish. This one you see is half an inch, uh, sorry, one inch. Okay, just like that. So we're literally like 90% 90 done. <laughs> this is the last step and you have finished your cuddly toy. Or you can just eyeball it like I do. I like eyeballing. Okay. Yeah, and then we just do they? Making sure to back stitch. Okay, just like so. Okay, do that on all the rest, and we're done. There you go. We did it, guys. Now here's a very nice and soft toy for a baby. So you can mix and match your fabrics or do all plain like I've done here. Um, try the bunny as well. And or printed muslin. Yeah, so it's nice feel to it. And before you, um, if you want to personalize it though and, um, you know, put the name of the baby, just make sure that you embroider on one piece first before you sew it together so it's not see-through the it just looks nicer that way okay there it is and please um check out my other videos as well and i have very easy to make products or um, sewing projects that you can make or you can make it with your kids if they're learning to sew um, also please have a look at my website i've got different patterns with video tutorials some have written tutorial like this one has a photo and written tutorial also with this video tutorial so please check out my pattern andythemaker.com and also check out my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and appreciate all you guys and please be kind to everyone have a good day and enjoy sewing happy sewing bye